Magician, Nine of Wands, Five of Pentacles, Judgment Reverse, King of Pentacles Reverse, Ten of Swords, Seven of Pentacles, The World Reverse, King of Swords. At the bottom of the deck, however, we do have the Five of Wands, which I love. Okay, I love the Five of Wands because it does mean conflict, but in a light sort of way. Okay, it just... I've been saying this a lot lately, but lately, but it's like I liken this card to for for example, look, they're in a bar, okay, they're arm wrestling, everybody's cheering them on, they're battling, but it's not because they hate each other or there's real aggravation, right? I mean, there's not even negative energy. There's a cat right there. Cats don't hang around where there's negative energy. No animals do. So it's all in fun and jest, okay? So this is your energy for the month, Scorpios. You're going to be pushing some buttons, but it's all going to be fun and it's all going to be lighthearted. That's the overall energy. It doesn't mean things are going to be like perfect though, because you have some pretty intense cards here. We have the magician for starters. Well, before we go there, your central energy is the king of pentacles. So you're going to feel like you're losing control of your stability on some level. Material stability, this could be large chunks of money going out, this could be uh, this could be a breakup with an earth sign that, that where there was a lot of stability in the relationship, but now you're losing that stability because of the breakup. Not that you're not stable, but you know, two incomes are better than one, right? So there's that kind of threat sometimes when there's a loss of a person. So that could be happening. And there will be uh, there will be some sort of an essence of a threat to your stability because of that. Now, we have the magician here, though. So what this is talking about is, one, this is the first major arcana card. This is the card of manifestation. Okay? This is the card of manifestation. This card is talking about, okay, I have everything at my disposal. disposal. I have all my emotions intact. I have all the energy in the world I need. I have all the intelligence that I need. I have some resources. So how am I going to use this to pull energy towards me to get what I want? Okay. This is using what you have to make stuff happen. And you can do that, Scorpios. Anybody can. Nine of Wands. You're going to feel a little browbeaten, though. I don't know what's going on in your love life, but you're going to feel a little browbeaten. Because this could mean, try as you might, try as you might, the universe might have a bigger plan for you than you trying to get this person or you trying to keep this person. This, you, the, the, the universe might be just saying no, no. You can manifest all you want, but it's going to really just make you tired. It's going to make you feel browbeaten. It's going to make you feel confined. Okay. And then you're going to have this realization that this, I'm not saying you're, you're definitely trying to keep this person by any means, but this is reverse. And then you, you do have the 10 of swords and this is talking about, this is in response to this magician energy in response to you feeling overly exhausted, overly exerted. And this is in response to the Five of Pentacles reversed. So this is in response to not feeling left out in the cold. Left out in the cold, not left out in the cold. But this could also mean that you don't want to be left out in the cold. So you're trying, 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 because you don't want to, again, the Pentacles, possibly lose that portion of the stability. And this is interesting because we have the judgment card. So we have the magician, the number one major arcana card, and then we have the 20th major arcana cards. In between these two, there's two cards. There's the world, which we have right here, also reversed. And then we have the fool, which is the zero card. So we have you starting, but you're not ready to fully start yet. Maybe that's why the universe, Scorpios, is saying no, not yet. You're not like, no, because you haven't finished this yet. This has to finish. That's why these are reversed, because there's not a final outcome. There's not a renewal, not yet. 
again, the world reversed. Like, it's not going, it's not ended yet. It's not ready to begin because something hasn't ended. Once something fully ends, and again, we're in eclipse season. And this is like the cycles of the moon. You can look at these as eclipses also if you'd like to. So we're in eclipse season. Something has to be eclipsed out before something can be eclipsed in. And this is directly talking about that. You're, but what's happening, Scorpios, is you're either trying to hold on to something or, or feeling threatened by the loss of something. And so you're trying to manifest before you're trying to eclipse in before you can eclipse out. So there's like this backwards thing you're doing for some reason. There doesn't have to be a particular order, but you're trying to make something happen when you can't yet because something hasn't finished, even though it does. Emotionally though, mentally, you need to let it, it's gonna have to be let go. Seven of Pentacles, I love this card. A lot of people say they don't like this card, but I love this card because there's always that point in a project or a relationship or whatever, uh, house renovation, right? Where you're like, I, you just think to yourself, shit, what did I get myself into? What? Like, I'm done. I'm three quarters of the way there, but I don't have any more energy. Okay? Let's say, for example, you're bu you're building a, a house. Okay? And you're, you're, you're just, all of the uh, drywall's up, the flooring's not in, the windows are in, but there's no electricity because all the plumbing and everything's not fully in. But it kind of is. But they're, you know how they always have to like keep coming back to do it because they never did it right the first time. And it's like this constant. That's where this is. It's like shit. Like the house is almost done. I'm almost completed. I can almost move in. But there's all this extra stuff. Like why does it have to be this frustrating all the time? So you're just tired. But the fact, the fact of the matter is, is like it's actually bearing fruit. You are really almost done. You're seeing the, you're seeing the benefit of your work, but you're just like, ah, I can't do this anymore. But the glory about this card, this is really one of my favorite cards. The glory about this card is that what's next is like you get that second wind, and you say, okay, pedal to the metal, and the Eight of Pentacles is like. Here, well, I'm not going to show you because it'll mess up the deck. But the eight of the eight of Pentacles is like putting your head down and like working, working, working. It's deciding to do that. Okay, it's deciding to say, I'm not going to be tired. We're almost done. I'm trying to find it in another deck. Just because I want to talk about it. Hold on one second. Every single time I do this, it's like the very last card. So it's like you're tired, but then you're like, okay, we can actually manage this. I'm going to jump in. I'm going to die. I'm taking control of the situation. I'm going to finish it. So you put your head down. You work and work and work and work and work. And then what's next is the nine of pentacles, which is like the bachelor, the bachelor, bachelorette card. It's like you have money, you're physically fit, your clothes are good, your clothes are good, you're looking on point, your work's on point, like just feeling sexy all around, like life is good. And then we have the Ten of Pentacles, which is extreme happiness and extreme security, like emotional and mental security. So, I mean, material uh, security. So, I really like this card. But what this is talking about for you, Scorpios, is, again, it's sitting right between this. It's not done yet. It feels done. Okay? Somebody's out of sorts. I feel like crap. But what I like about this card is he's not laying here with the swords in his back. He's not t playing the victim. Okay, so you're not going to play the victim in whatever scenario this is. Even if it really is ending, you know, in the future or kind of ending right now, you're not playing the victim. You're getting up and walking away. And what you're kind of doing is you're getting up and you're saying, this sucks, but maybe there's more we can do. Maybe we can fix this. Because the next card is the seven of pen the eight of pentacles of putting your head down and working. And you're also saying by getting up and walking away, we're not done yet. I'm not ready to go to this next phase of being done. So what do you get to do, Scorpios? Now again, you could be uh, the king of swords is an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. And you could be consulting somebody 
I'm really getting this sense like you really could be consulting somebody. Not necessarily like a lawyer, you could be, but I'm sensing more like he's always, he's like this very strategic chess player, right? So if you're dating or a marriage might be ending or there's like big issues, but something's not really over yet, you're like, how do I play this the best that I can? Not to one up, not to hurt, but to keep, okay? How do I play this? So a one, I can win, but we can both win. Interesting, Scorpios. How do you play it? Without actually playing, you know, you don't want to play anybody, but how do you play the situation? How do you play it? Oh, I need to ask the right questions. What are the clarifying messages for Scorpios? What are the clarifying messages for Scorpios love life? is a major transformation someone's not keeping their cool okay we have the six of cups reversed so what this is talking about is again with this eclipsing in and eclipsing out you might be trying to hang on to something that is really it's on its way out but it's just not there yet you've got to figure out how to do that because if you are trying to work this to keep somebody it's not really going to work the way that you're wanting it to, and then it's going to cause emotions to flare up a little bit. But, and the reason why I say that is because we have the temperance card here. So this work that you're doing, you're really going to try. You're really going to try to not have this end, but it's looking like it's, it is kind of ending, and it's also looking like, at least in August, like they're not com coming back. They're not going to stay. Now... The central energy we have is the strength card. So as this thing's breaking down or there's fights or you're trying to figure out what to do, there's this strength card here. So don't, and you're a very strong sign, Scorpios. You can be very positive. You're extremely intelligent. You're extremely intuitive, right? You feel people's energies and you know what to, how to, what to do with it. And so, um, you're going to be holding on to this power. Now look, look. You have the King of Swords, the Queen of Swords, and the King of Wands. So again, you could be dealing with an air sign. You could also be dealing with a fire sign. If you're not, this is telling you that through this, you take on these characteristics. Take on these characteristics of don't go out. This is the Bachelor, Bachelorette card that I was kind of talking about, the Nine of Cups. Um... I was talking about Pentacles before. The Pentacles is really the Bachelorette card. The Cups is really the Bachelor card, but it can go vice versa. But this is reverse. So this is saying, in an effort to start manifesting something new, maybe once you're realizing that now this might actually be over, don't run amok and go just be like this glutton of love. Okay, this is reverse. This is saying, keep this, keep your emotions tempered. And be very crystal clear about how you want to lead, be your own leader in this situation. Again, there could be a fire sign in your midst. Aries, Aries, Libra, or Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But if not, this is saying to be your own leader and take charge, walk towards the future. And that is going to require some major transformation. The death card. This is going to, this is going to require some major transformation. So between these endings and this beginning, we have this transformation. It's this realization that there is a cycle. And in order to keep going and move into a new cycle, things have to change. It's always ever changing. You're going to feel hurt. Again, you could be dealing with air signs. But if not, if, you, if this is talking about your energy, you will feel hurt because the Queen of Swords is really... She is kind of cold and shut off because of what has happened in her life. Okay, She's really kind of known as the widow or the widower card. But you have to learn how to feel again. And that's where the strength is coming in. 
you're going to be cold and cut off for a while, unless you're dealing with the air sign. You're going to be cold and cut off, but your strength's going to be there. It's always going to be there. That's, that's part of being a Scorpio is you have that. You always have that bite to you, you know, just like a fire sign. They always have that, like, ah, you know, that fiery aspect to their personality. So there may be hurt. There's going to be transformation, which is beautiful. There is also going to be kind of the re-emergence of emotions after this, after realizing your strength, this re-emergence of emotions that says, oh man, I just don't want to really go on this journey all by myself. I want somebody to come with me. Okay, And it's going to make you feel a lot. And what you're going to try to do, temperance reversed, okay, in unstable emotions. It's going to make you feel a lot. And you do because you're Scorpio. And one thing that you do in response to that is you act, you take action a lot. And that's exactly what we see. Adding on all these activities. So much that there's like this looming down cloud and you start caring because you're like, shiz, I seriously, now I can't handle how all this stuff I just put on my plate. I'm dating too much or I'm getting too busy at work or I'm going to and fro and all this stuff. Just trying to ignore this okay it's a direct response to feeling too much and then we have the three of pentacles reverse so it's going to impact your work back to this maybe a possible loss of st loss of stability okay it's going to impact your work ah oh, scorpios The good thing is, is if, if there's numerous people around, these are good characters to have, people to have. Okay, if, you're, if these are not you, then this is beautiful because fire signs get really get along really well with water signs, usually, unless they're fighting. <laughs> but there's going to be this kind of reemergence of people that come into your dating life or energy that comes into your marriage. Okay, there's going to be calculation. There's going to be... Um, planning and strategy there's going to be energy so if these are not you, you, talking about you then they're talking about other people and other energies and then it's good it's gonna still cause some instability and some kind of overcompensation in terms of busy being busy okay but um, they, at the end of the day the real positive thing is there is gonna be this realization of like I really want to be with somebody or I want to be with this person. I need them to figure out what they're doing. Or, you know, in my marriage, I need this to get rectified. And then there is a major transformation. Okay, what are the high-level advice and guidance for Scorpios? High-level advice and Scorpios for August. High-level advice and guidance. Ace of Cups reverse, the Lovers reverse, Pentacles, re Page of Pentacles reverse, Scorpios. Scorpios. So yeah, August is just not going to be your love month. There's going to be eclipsing out, eclipsing in. It could be done in the wrong order. You're trying to figure it out. You're not thinking with your heart and head. You're really going to just be thinking with your head or your heart. And it's going to cause all this emotional-ish, this emotional stuff. We do have the Page of Pentacles reversed, though. So this, again, talks about overly emotional communication. Here, he's, like, dipping this practicality, right? He's, like, taking this love scenario or this potential love, and he's trying to communicate with it, but not being overly emotional. He's just dipping it into this pond of emotions. Only one little pentacle, though. Slowly dipping it. But when this is reversed... And this is talking about communication style. When it's reversed, it's like all this water just spills down over him and he's just like washed away with pond water. So you're going to be emotional. You're going to be emotional. You're going to overcompensate by staying, by trying to stay busy. Try not to let this get to you, Scorpios. There is going to be a major transformation, so allow it. But don't go overboard with um, like being cold and cut off and then being really, really emotional and being really, really busy. There has to be, um, and this is saying that there won't be, for you at least not this month, there's not going to be some sort of like 
calming reactions to any of this. You're going to be very reactive.